Hello everyone, this is Nia here, and today I'll teach you how to draw the VP logo in Affinity Designer. So first we go to File New and we create a new document and we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And click Create. So once we have the new document, we go to View and we are going to add some guides. So we have an horizontal and a vertical guide right in the middle of the composition. And then we take the ellipse tool. We set the stroke to none and the fill to green. And then we go here to the transform panel. We need the ellipse to be of ratio 1 to 1.3. So we set the width to 100 and the height to 130. And then we go here. We need to have snapping enabled. So if you don't have snap to guide, you need to check it. And then we take the move tool and we set the ellipse right here in the middle of the composition. And then we click on shift and we expand it. So to around 800 pixels. Now we have the first ellipse. So we go here to enable transform origin and we set the rotation center right in the middle of the composition. And then we are going to start duplicating it. So we press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl J to duplicate. We are going to need 18 ellipses overall, so that means that each ellipse must be spaced by 20 degrees. So here in the transform panel, we set the rotation angle to 20. And then we click Ctrl J to create the over ellipses. So now we have 18 ellipses. So we click Ctrl A to select them all. And now we are going here to divide, to divide all the ellipses into separate objects. So here in the middle we need to remove the two first rounds of objects. So we click Shift and we select all the objects that we need to remove. So we have the two first rounds of objects selected. And now we click delete to remove them. And then the third, the fourth, and the fifth rounds of objects, we need to keep them for the figure. And all the rest, we need to remove it. So then we go ahead and we start selecting the objects that we need to remove while holding shift. So we have two more rounds of objects to remove. So now we have the figure as we want it to be, so we just need to add some colors. So we go here to the Vector Float Field tool. We go to Color. And we set the color to the following one. So FFE600. And then we go ahead and we color the first round of objects with the Vector Float Field tool. And then we set the color to 99CCOO, so it's going to be a light green. And then we go ahead and we color the next round of objects. And then finally, we set it to 009900, so 
So it's going to be a dark green. And we color the last rounds of objects. So that's it. So now we have the BP logo that is created with the color added to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.